Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and for some reason my channel seems to attract a lot of people who want me to try out their door locks, and I don't know why that is, and most of them that um, are suggested to me by the companies are electronic, or have apps, or have all kinds of features, or replace doorknobs with keypads, and I thought I was actually in the market for one, and uh, I ended up um, getting contacted by Elmake with this heavy-duty, uh, totally mechanical door lock that has two features that I wanted. Obviously, totally mechanical is one of them, but also that it does not lock unless you want it locked. So you have to set the com or turn the combo to get it to lock. Otherwise, they constantly keep locking every time you close the door. So uh, it's here's the box, the Elmar or Elmake keyless mechanical deadbolt. Um, take a quick look at it, and then I'm going to install it and try it out. But heavy duty. I mean, this is a kind of beefy steel. It surprised me. I was expecting, you know, with something um, something like this, it wouldn't be that heavy. But it, it is. Um, I've installed tons and tons of locks. Um, so this, nothing in here surprises me. Um, looks like a decent system. Um, for a deadbolt. It will go on a door. Believe it or not, it has a deadbolt in it already, but I have no key for the deadbolt, um, which is one of the reasons I wanted to replace it with something like this. Um, this is a, uh, a completely manual but customizable um, locking mechanism. I'm going to install it and try it out, so let's go do that. All right, so this is where the lock's going to go, is I'm going to replace that deadbolt there. Um, and then this will be the, the keypad, I guess like that, that'll be up in that spot. To light this work, I'm using my Milwaukee Radius, this guy here running a M18 uh, battery. This one happens to be one of the 12 amp hour. Um, but anyway, this great work light, I'm using it on the spot mode, or the flood mode, I guess. Um, anyway, so now I'm going to replace it. So let's see what happens. All right, so I've got it installed. Seems to be working fine to lock it. Unlock it on the inside. Now, one of the reasons I wanted this and a manual one is, you know, sometimes we have neighbors who uh, can come check on the dog if something happens. Um, you know, we want to be able to just give a code so they could get in the house, but also, uh, you know, not have to give out keys or anything like that. Um, and so that was on our list. So here we are. Um, notice it's not locked. You have to lock it manually from the outside. Now it is locked. That doesn't turn anymore. So we enter the code. This is the default code from the factory. Doesn't matter. There's no time limit or anything because it's all manual. Unlocks just fine. Lock. Enter the code. Perfect. What if we try a code that's not right? Of course, nothing happens. Enter the right code and read the instructions on how to clear it. There we go. So now try it. There we go. Piece of cake. With that, dock out.